because he was crazy. And it was funny. The way he would charge into battle and flip tables over and stuff. Yeah, well, I would prefer it if he actually hit a few times, which would have been helpful, but... Uh, it was a good correlation of whenever he drops, the party would win the battle. So, I mean, it was like... I remember that, die. yeah. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was with the good old days, where John's failure was our success. <laughs> exactly, I think that that was, that was the best character, because we would know by beforehand that we would win. It's awesome. All right then, let's throw it to John. John, who was your favorite PC? Oh, I have to say Zaxar too. I mean, the first? that was uh, yeah, 1.0 version one, the original. You know, uh, I I liked him as a character a lot, but I kind of have a personal rule that if a character dies, I have to make a new one. It's uh, I don't, it's sort of a, it's like a personal thing that I like to do. I don't like to resurrect characters. I find it's kind of weird, but. Uh, yeah, I miss him a lot, and uh, also I also like I don't know. This campaign was really really hard. Like in the beginning, I was goofing around a lot, but like towards the end, I was kind of taking the battles a lot more seriously. And I've I, I don't have the much one round was so important. I couldn't goof around a lot, especially in the the later ones. Like if this last battle with Calorel, there's like what uh, seven eight skeletons doing like five damage each at least, and. Calorel and the imp, and like there's nothing I can do to like make dramatic table flipping or sliding through blood, and yeah. So yeah, I I would say he was my favorite character. And part of the reason for that is just that at the time in the campaign, you had the opportunity to do a lot more fun stuff with him. Oh yeah, definitely. I still remember the time I picked up the dead cobalt and threw it at another cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good I think that's my favorite. I moments. can't believe you actually worked. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's ask Nick favorite PC. All right, well, although I have a certain pride in the fact that my character Coltane managed to survive this whole adventure, um, and had a bit of a watery personality, you know, it uh, it changed, but. Despite that, I, I still think that um, wreckage, wreckage and his multiple personalities um, were just too funny. He's my favorite. I guess it helps when you have a secret second player that does crazy shit and the first player <laughs> doesn't even know about it. It helps for the multiple personality syndrome, you know? Oh, absolutely! You know him—him him crying, just bawling his eyes out. You know, after we killed Sir <laughs> Keegan. Oh, it's just—I, you know, there's such depth to his character. You could see it. I could feel his pain. I need to start listening every session that I'm not there, in case someone does some stupid shit on my character. Especially now that you have a clean, a clean slate with wrecked. Yeah, I'd hate him to start getting double personality crap. It'd be a shame if we found him interesting. <laughs> Ew! Alright, so let's throw it to Doug. Favorite PC. Gotta be Wreckage. Wreckage was just so much fun to play. And, even though he wasn't my main. And, I don't know, even when Dave was playing him, he had this no, maybe not when Dave was playing. Joking. Yeah, even when Dave was playing him. He had this Oh, thank this, you this very character. much there. I don't know, he, he was just funny. And then and then the multiple personalities just just built on that. Like Well. Yeah. Everything Nick said. Alright, Steven. I'll just keep it relatively short because I don't like to talk very much. My favorite would definitely be the original Zack Sarah. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't hit shit. But no matter what the random ass thing he wanted to pull off, he'd somehow do it flawlessly. Yeah, he was pretty useless. Except when he was trying to be cool. That's what yep. made him awesome. I, I couldn't hit anything with any of my powers, but tell me to do a somersault over a table and attack the kobold with a scythe. You know, no problem. No criticals left and right. Some things are just too awesome to fail. So, I'm gonna have to throw my hat in with the Zaxart group. 
Zach started Mark 1 for the reasons outlined. He just he just did some pretty uh, heroic stuff. Interesting, interesting character. All right, favorite battle. Let's go with uh, Doug first. Um, that time I punched Coltane in the balls. <laughs> that wasn't a fair fight. You know it. it. Counts as a battle. You didn't even have to roll any attacks. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like I mean, the ones I partook in, none of them were particularly glorious, per se. Um, like it was, I mean, it was fun knocking that dude down the well, and it was fun shooting that spider behind bars. <laughs> All right, let's throw it to Nick. All right, I think definitely my favorite battle was when we first, or maybe for the second time, went down to the second level of the keep, where there was also a well, as I recall, and how that that battle went on for some time, and you know we we're sort of on the verge of giving up. Winter was cornered somewhere, and Coltane was sure he'd get killed, and I, I think I like I just went all out to try and kill this this hobgoblin archer or something like that and I and I fumbled and ended up with a Coltane throwing his weapon at the ground but because of that I was able to actually charge that guy and knock him down the well afterwards and we managed to just barely scrape scrape ourselves a victory from that which was really great and then John like some complete moron decides it'd be hilarious to start pulling the goblin out of the well just to see if we can all die. That was a great battle. <laughs> oh, I remember that was so awesome. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> that was a really epic battle. Yeah, I, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna have to agree with Nick on that one. That's probably my favorite as well. I remember that, that session was so long. We were playing until like, what, 4 a.m. or something down to the wire yeah that that was a that was a great battle so let's uh, throw it to Dave favorite battle I got two that are kinda tied uh, but I'll say the lower one first the, the, the second I guess the closest would be the one when uh, Autumn decided to like we open a door or no wait I think we saw like one zombie and then we're like okay let's not go against the zombies and then Autumn decides to like yeah let's go and like punch somebody zombies and then like freaking all the zombies came after us and then we had to like form some kind of defensive like square and then hold them off from both ends that was kind of retarded but whatever and uh... my number one favorite would be uh, the one in the cemetery with uh... uh Nina Ran, when uh... everyone pretty much dies or falls unconscious and then like freaking wreckage solos everything yeah wreckage owns alright let's throw it to John uh, can you skip me? I'm still thinking. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Steven. Well, in all honesty, I can't say I actually have one. I think I missed most of the epic battles anyway. The few I were here for, or the few that I was here for, um, I'm pretty sure were just standard. Nothing fancy, nothing memorable. I think the battles you were here for were, were all battles that Autumn instigated. Like Dave said, <laughs> there, there was a whole group of zombies just minding Pretty their much. own business, ignoring you guys. You go over, attack one, and they all activate. Or there's the coffins, oh, and, the and you go mess with the coffins. Sarcophagus. Yeah, the sarcophagi, exactly. And then the jelly and other stuff. I would like to maintain that those were totally not my fault. You guys could have stopped me, but you didn't, so it's your fault. That's the stupidest excuse I've ever heard. Yeah, well, I'm sticking no, with no, it. No, this so. is good. This is good. It gives us now a reason to tackle all of Steven's characters. Right? So now he's playing as some uh, chick paladin, so we can tackle the paladin all the time. Just remember hey guys, that I think I hear something. Get her! Paladin. But she doesn't talk, remember? <laughs> and I seem to recall yeah, exactly. from one of the last battles, she misses with it a lot. So, John, come up with something yet? Uh, yeah, I did. And it wasn't by any means glorious or victorious but my favorite one would have to be the slime 
in complete in like a uh, three rounds he destroyed us <laughs> completely. Uh, the blue slime in that cavern room thing, yeah. Not to mention my total willingness to go back every time we came back to the <laughs> cave. I hate that. Don't go in, seriously. <laughs> yeah. So that's your favorite because it kicked your ass so thoroughly and so quickly? Oh, oh yeah. It, it was like, we didn't have enough time to get to the island so we could attack him. That, that's how fast he killed us. <laughs> you know, I half expected you to pick that, that um, the battle where Zaxar was the last one remaining versus Iron Tooth, and then you were trying to negotiate for us. <laughs> and then he beat you up. <laughs> Wait, what? Zaxar tried to negotiate on our behalf. And Iron Tooth was like, shut up, and smacked him down. I don't remember this. Refresh my memory. I remember I the battle the itself. I don't remember that part. It, 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 it was, was like, um... Everyone was, uh... It was the natural conclusion to our Zaxar dies, we win. Because this time, everyone else died, or went unconscious. And he was still alive, so clearly, you know, the longer he's alive, the more likely it is we'll lose. And, you know, they went to stabilize us in something, and... Zaxar put down his weapons and Iron Tooth was there and he's like I, I don't know what, what half-assed diplomacy Don tried but <laughs> Iron Tooth just just put him down the main thing I remember about that battle is Dave running off to chase a ranged attacker around the entire map while Iron Tooth single-handedly took down the rest of you one by one that's why Wreckage yeah, that owns. was a strategic uh... Yeah, I, I made a misjudgment call there. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing a lot of damage, though, like one archer guy. It was a shaman, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a shaman. He was doing, like, uh, fireballs or energy balls or whatnot. It was, like, doing, like, 8, 10 damage. And Iron Tooth was doing, like, 20 damage. <laughs> Alright, favorite enemy. Could be a monster, could be a villain. Let's Dave! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's the perfect that. reaction. Um, I, I would obviously go with that slime, just because it's the stupidest thing we ever decided to attack twice. And it just drove me crazy. So I probably had nightmares about that friggin' slime. <laughs> And, like, truly, it was our most formidable enemy. Everything else paled in comparison. And um, it's still alive. I, I also have to mention, Balgrin the Fat was pretty good, because, as far as I recall, that little bastard got away in the end. After we, you know, caught up to him and, you know, took him prisoner, like, three times. <laughs> That's true, you guys never know, we never figured out what happened to him. Alright, so Nick says the blue slime... Let's throw it to, uh, Dave. Favorite enemy. <clears throat> the rats in the pit. <laughs> really? Dude, they were the most retarded enemies ever, and they almost killed one of us. Actually, actually I think they did bring someone down, didn't they? Uh, I think we actually, for some stupid reason, all went into the pit to beat them up, instead of, I think it was Coltane, climbing out. To escape them. Yeah, well, exactly. The rats almost own Coltane. There you go. That was freaking hilarious. Uh, were you also the first one to walk into the room and fell into the pit, or was that Autumn? No, we didn't have Autumn back then. We, so we fell did. into the pit first. Wait, we had it was Autumn. Coltane who fell. We had Autumn the first time nah. we went into the, into the um, yeah, that, that place there. Keep. <laughs> man, I have it in my mind that Autumn only. Came in much Two later. years, man. Oh shit, Two you're right. It's been years. a long time. So Dave, you're standing by the rats in the pit. Yes, they kicked our asses. All right, let's ask Steven, favorite enemy. I wouldn't even know where to start. When you play as many games as I do, it, it becomes trivial to come up with favorite enemies. Everything's just hostile or not to me. Okay, John. That's a cop out. I don't know if it could be considered my favorite enemy, but he. I, I don't know, Splug was a count. Wait, 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 he was your enemy? We got a category, favorite non-villainous NPC. Okay, then I guess he goes in there, because I don't know, he was a goblin. I mean, he, w he was attacking us. Anyway, 
It's obviously not that, so wrong category. <laughs> uh, <laughs> favorite enemy? I think it'd be Bilgrim the Fat. Why? Because he's the reason Zaxxard is dead, for one. And because we never got to kill him. Turns out he was the big mastermind behind it all. Calorel was just his pawn. In yes, fact, he's like, uh, nice Zaxxard. for any of you Lost fans, uh, I'm, I'm hoping at least some of you watch Lost. Ben Linus, at oh, the beginning, the he scene. was the prisoner, pretended to be a little minion, turned out to be the big... No, no one knows what I'm talking about. No, that was a stupid I TV show. don't understand what Lost, and the moment I saw a polar bear on a tropical island, I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I watched up I watched until they built episode, themselves yeah. a golf course, and then I got bored of it. <laughs> Alright, for the record, Lost is the single greatest TV show of all time, and you're all terrible people. That's a lie. We all know it's Doctor Who. It's CJ, we all know you're it's lying. The and, and it is definitely Doctor Who. I have to agree with Steven here. As much as I love sci-fi, I have to go with The Wire. I don't know what's all wrong with all of you people, but Stargate pawns everything. Pawns? Uh, you don't even know how to pronounce like, your own internet lingo? Okay, so like Doug, Stargate. favorite enemy. Did I ask you that? Uh, favorite enemy, I guess. I didn't have as many enemies as the rest of you. Um. <laughs> spider in like the cage. Like a spider. Col <laughs> Coltane's balls. Uh. No, but no. Those are two maybe, good choices. Maybe the imp. The imp was someone I really wanted to kill, and he escaped twice. And then when he finally died, I wasn't even at that session. So. Yep, I guess I'll go with him. Not very exciting, sure I guess. What about Sir Keegan, when you were controlling wreckage? Oh yeah, Sir Keegan. But he wasn't an enemy. He was good people. Well, let's let's the consider enemy. Sir Keegan an enemy because you had to fight him. The enemy was ourselves, against <laughs> the dice rolls, <laughs> preventing us from from broing it out with Sir Keegan. My favorite quote unquote villain, and I only consider him this because you guys fought him, so you made him a villain, would be Keegan. Sir Keegan. Uh, he had the capacity to be just as powerful, if not more powerful, than the slime. But I just had terrible rolls that day, so he was just never hitting you guys. But I think Sir Keegan is one of the most well developed characters period within this adventure. He probably has... Uh, no, actually, I think I could safely say without a doubt, he is the most well-developed character. He has the, the, the most text uh, attributed to him, you know, the, the largest write-ups, etc. And it's just such a shame that a large part of the plot-slash-backstory of this adventure hinges on your success in a skill challenge. I kind of cheated and I, I gave Sorrow some of the backstory to relate to you guys, but uh, just bad writing, and, and we'll, get, we'll get back to that later. But I'd like to point out that no one here mentioned Calorel, and typically you'd expect, or you'd at least hope that the main villain <laughs> of the adventure would be the favorite villain, but he was just so terribly written that it's no surprise. I was about to ask who Calorel was. <laughs> it also doesn't help that every character we meet says that Calorel was an idiot and he fracks things up all the time. And then he has like freaking three defectors in his lines. Great leadership skills he's got. But the only reason he had defectors was because you guys kept dying. Hush you. <laughs> Good point. We weaken him with our own failure. All right, let's go with favorite non-villainous, non-villainous NPC, and let's go to Dave for the obvious answer. The dwarven blacksmith. Here, here. Wreckage is eternal enemy until his grave days. I'm sure that after Wreckage gets out of his grave after eating that chicken uh, leg, he's probably gonna go back and try to reclaim all of his weapons and his freaking armor that everyone sold. <laughs> all right, so we have Stephen agreeing. With that, uh, let's let's ask John. Splug, hands down, it's Splug. 
no matter how many times uh, we leave him behind, he's still my favorite guy. Okay, okay, I'll stay here. If he was your favorite, how come you never one? went back? Exactly. What okay, happened yeah. to him? You never went back you to see him. I couldn't go back to see him because none of my characters knew. None of my new characters knew about him because we never go back. You could have reminded Colt. You could have reminded Nick or one of the other players who knew about him. Yeah, but that goes against my thing. Where I, I don't know. I don't like uh, sort of hardcore. -ish. I don't like to remind people about what things they should do or things that happen type of thing. For the record, or I poor goblins who are starving to death in jail cells. I was planning on us going back to see him after we'd finally stopped Calorel, but then I wasn't there. Actually, wait a minute. You guys mapped out the the entire area, so you did go back. You did see him, and he's dead. Congratulations. Uh -huh. oh, he starved no. to death. Wait a minute. Wreckage dumped a shitload of food with him before he left. He died of loneliness. I remember that. <laughs> also, you're a bad you man. You don't Zeke. find the food. You just killed him to make us look stupid. I know it. I knew we should have locked him in that uh, storage room instead. <laughs> Alright, Doug. Favorite non-villainous NPC. Ninaran! <laughs> you She's never got to meet. and I love her. Um, the NPCs that I did meet were those dudes that died. Who? The guards. The, the town guards that were the sent. Four guards. The town guards, yeah. I completely forgot about those guys. <laughs> yeah, so I did think the they were the only NPCs I met. <laughs> you know, despite having four extra people in our party, we still had tremendous trouble with that with that fight. It's true, that was the epic battle, right? Yeah, yeah that was my favorite. Well, they were red shirts. It was my first battle. I don't think I was there for that battle. So, Doug, your answer is no one? Oh, Nidoran. I love my cousin. Alright, Nick. I, um, I have to say, the, um, the innkeeper, the bartender, I still don't remember her name, <laughs> and I never will. <laughs> but it was so much fun not remembering her name and having her hate me, and hate all of us, because we were disgusting <laughs> and stupid. Ah, good times. Silvana or Pana or whatever the hell her name was. <laughs> it's completely wrong. I think it was Ninaron. <laughs> no. I love rolling ones on a wisdom check.